In this module, we will talk about the determination of KLA volumetric mass transfer coefficient by guessing out technique. In the previous module, we talked about the static method, but in this module, we will talk about the dynamic method. As concerned, the dynamic method is the real method actually, because the determination of dissolved oxygen during the fermentation process. So, in this method, dynamic method, the respiratory activity of a growing culture in a fermenter is utilized. So, in the start of the fermentation process, we just assume that there is the maximum uh, dissolved solubility. And then there is no more supply of the oxygen. Uh, when the activity and then when the fermentation, uh, in the, during the fermentation process, the oxygen solubility decreases to that value then we can say that uh, therefore the estimation of the in that case is basically the re realistic assessment of the fermentation activity because that oxygen that is present in uh, this dissolved form is completely utilized by that when there will be a maximum decrease in the dissolved oxygen then we start aeration and then we can find the change and uh, the oxygen transfer rate. You can see by this uh, diagram, so in the start of the fermentation you can see on X stage and as it is oxygen, it is the start of fermentation. When there is no aeration, you can see that uh, there is a gradual depletion of the oxygen that goes to a certain point. And on this point, we start aeration. When we start the aeration, then there will be a gradually increase in the dissolved oxygen. And then that also goes up to a certain point, which is called as C star, which is called as saturation point. So by this trend, we can use the dynamic gassing out. So this trend is helpful in calculating the KLA. So the slope of that line in previous, the slope of that line is basically can be calculated as uh, used as the calculation of the KLA. So you can see in this that uh, the equation, this equation is almost the same as we have uh, discussed in a static method, but this is a minor variation. Only the variation is that is denoted by XQO2 mean that is the utilization because during this process some oxygen is utilized by the cells. So, the specific respiration rate of the cells present in that level. So, DCL over DT is equal to KLA into C star minus CL minus QO2. As concerned the term is given by the slope of the line. You can see here if we draw the graph between the change of oxygen concentration DCL over DT plus this one because that is utilized that and then we graph between Y then the slope is equal to minus KLA 1 over minus 1 over KLA. So, according to this equation, you can see that we can easily calculate by this because this is simply the line we were Burke plot equation on 100 CL and then is the this one and here is this one. So, if we have a this kind, then we can easily we understand that uh, the equation the plot of CL versus DC over DT, then we can easily calculate uh, this. This is also known as the line weaver berg plot equation, then that can be utilized for the estimation of uh, KLA. As concerned, the dynamic method has the advantage over the previous method of a static method because it is the actual fermentation uh, process of uh, determination of KLA. The major limitation in the operation of the technique is the range over which the increase in the dissolved oxygen because this method has its own limitation. 
as you can see here the major limitation in the operation of the technique that is the range over the increase in the dissolved oxygen concentration that vary. So, it may be difficult to apply the technique during the fermentation which has an oxygen demand close to the supply capacity of the fermenter. So, both dynamic and static methods are also unsuitable for measuring the KLA because that is only possible on a small scale and that has only the limitation because we cannot calculate exact each and every time the demand is varied. So, that is why these both methods have their own limitations. Theoretically, we can use, but practically, these two methods are very difficult to utilize. So, as we have seen that uh, the both methods had their limitations, that is also predicted in this uh, graph. You can see here that uh, in this, when there is a maximum and when we cut off the aeration, that goes to a very minimum level. And then at that stage, then there is the critical position. So, that at that level it is very difficult that vary with the uh, different conditions. So, that is why the dynamic method had its own limitation for the estimation of KLA. So, in an alternative way then in a later module we will talk about an, uh, the next possible uh, technique for the estimation of KLA.